I have a container with some water and some salt and I will add this salt into this water and then I will try and mix it. Okay, the salt has dissolved now. Now the question is, can I separate this salt from the water? Is there a method that can separate the water from the salt? Well, we just saw vaporization, right, in one of the other videos. There we saw that when we let the water vaporize, we can, we can see the salt getting deposited on the sides of the container. And we can actually get the dissolved salt back by, by the process of vaporization. But the water was lost, right? And let's say that I want to get the water out from this dissolved mixture of salt and water. I do not want the salt. Now I am interested in the water. How can I get that? Turns out there is a method and that method is called distillation. To carry out distillation, we have this bigger container of water with salt dissolved in it. We will keep this on the top and switch on the flame and wait for the mixture to start vaporizing. Well, it has started vaporizing. Then we can have a smaller container and a steel plate as well. So I've placed the smaller container over here and I bring the steel plate on top of the bigger container. So there you go. What do you observe? Well, we do observe these tiny droplets, right? Where did they come from? Look at them. Look at them falling into the smaller container. So let's try and understand what's happening over here. Well, there are two things happening over here. There is vaporization and there is also condensation. You have water vaporizing from the bigger container and when those water vapors strike the cool steel plate, they condense, they change back to liquid, they change back to water and you see that collecting in a smaller container over here. And turns out salt is still in the bigger container. Salt has not vaporized, right? It's only the water that is vaporizing. Water starts vaporizing at a much, much lower temperature than salt. So salt remains in the bigger container and water is vaporizing, then water condenses and that condensed water starts falling into the smaller container. So turns out we have separated water from salt. This right over here, this water is pure water. It has no salt dissolved in it. And this process is called distillation. 